April is poetry month, so today I wanna to share with you eight different picture books that you can use in your classroom to share wonderful poetry with your students. If you're new here, my name is Sarah, and I show up on this channel every Sunday night with read aloud tips and book ideas for you to take into your classroom that week. If that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button down below. Now, let's jump into those poetry books. The first one that I have would be perfect for younger grades. This book is called Silver Seeds, and it is full of acrostic poems about nature. There are acrostic poems about everything that you find in nature, from trees, to hummingbirds, to clouds. I think this is a great book to get students started with writing their own poems. I feel like acrostic poems are a little bit easier for students to start with. So a great book, Silver Seeds, to talk about Poetry Month with your students. The next poetry book that I have for you to share during the month of April is also about nature and the four seasons. This one is called Firefly July, and there are 36 poems in all that take us through the four seasons of the year and share beautiful imagery that we see and experience during those seasons. So this is a beautiful book to share with your students about poetry. Next, I have All the Wild Wonders. And this book has poems of our earth, and it's a little bit older of a book, but she still has wonderful poems to share with your students. The neat thing about this book is that it shows the two sides of our world and its future. It shares not only the beauty of our world and the earth that we live on, but also the dangers of what could happen if we're not taking care of our earth and what the future holds if we are not taking care of it. I think this book would be great, not only for Poetry Month, but also to talk about Earth Day with our students, which also happens to be in the month of April. The next two poetry books that I have are both written in haiku. The first one is Hu Ku Haiku. This is a nonfiction book written in haikus, which I thought was so neat. In this book, the haikus share information about two great horned owls and how they take care of their eggs and once those eggs have hatched, taking care of their chicks and making sure they are warding off predators. So I think that's a really interesting way to share information with students is through poetry. This book also includes a lot of back matter about great horned owls as well. So I think this would be a really interesting one for you to share with your students. The other haiku book I wanted to share with you, I shared in last week's video, which you can check out here. And this one is called Dog Koo. And this is a funny, silly book about a stray dog who finds a home and really hopes to be taken in by a wonderful family. And the book is told from his point of view through, again, haikus, and what he goes through throughout the day, the children getting ready for school, and how he's a little bored without them at home, and then how excited he is when they come home, and worries at the end of the day, are they gonna send him away, or does he get to stay forever? This one your students will definitely love. And I actually have an activity that goes along with it and it's called Classroom Coup. And I'll leave a link to that in the description box down below that you can check out to do with your class after you read this story. Another poetry book that I have for you is also about a dog. This one is called Thinker, My Puppy, Poet, and Me. In this story, written all in poems, is about a dog named Thinker who loves to recite poems and about his owner, Jace. Thinker really wants to go to school with Jace, but he's not allowed. Until Pets Day. And you'll soon find out what happens on Pets Day in school with Thinker and Jace in their story told in verse. Another fun puppy poetry book to share with your class. The next book I shared in last week's video as well, so if you missed it, make sure you go and check that out. But this book is called Out of Wonder, and it's all about poems celebrating poets. This collection pulled together by Kwame Alexander not only gives us wonderful poems celebrating famous poets throughout the years, but also some tips throughout the book about where poems come from and how we can create our own and bring them to life in our writing. And another book to talk about creating your own poems is Pizza, Pigs, and Poetry by Jack Perlutsky. This one isn't a picture book, so I would use this probably with students who are a little bit older, 
But in this book, Jack shares how he uses his imagination to create the poems that he comes up with. He shares tips, advice, and secrets for writing poems, which I think your students will connect with and really bring back to their own writing. As he shares a behind the scenes look into how he creates his own poems, he gives readers challenges throughout the story about how they can create their own poems. So I think this will be great for your students to practice writing their own poems in a fun and a unique way. I hope that you're excited to celebrate Poetry Month in your classroom during the month of April. To help you out, I've linked all of the books that I shared in this video in the description box down below, and I hope that you'll be able to use some of them in your classroom this month. Thank you so much for joining me this week. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit that red subscribe button down below, because I'll be back next Sunday night with more read aloud tips and book ideas that you can use in your classroom. Have a great week.